Sergio Studios. Extra. Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Sergio Dominguez with another art look through of the Sergio Show. This time, we're going to look through seasons 22 and 23. So, let's take a look. Alright, we have this scribble that I didn't make. Yeah, this came with the, the sketchbook. I didn't see it before. I don't know where this scribble came from, but there it is. There it is. I left that alone and just went on to the next page. Okay, yeah, I started in August 6, 2020, and I finished 11 30, 2020. So there's that. So let's see. All right. This is a meteor for an episode of the Sergio Show with Dinosaur Sergio. This should be uh, season 22. And, um,. Yeah, just a meteor because uh, for the episode it was it's going to be um oh dinosaur Sergio is in this world where where everything's going to end. Oh my gosh, dinosaurs ending? I, I I wouldn't expect it, but here we are. You know, things random random things would happen, you know, like this, a meteor, volcano, but it would close its mouth. These are like the separate frames, so I would place this this frame, this frame, this frame, this frame, and then happy face. Oh, I would get sick, and I'm like, okay, if Dinosaur Sergio is sick in that kind of time period, it should be with a leaf blanket and a leaf like, um, what was it, pad, uh, like a heating pad for the head. Oh, Martians. I just made a list of, of ways that um, dinosaurs have died. And theories and such, and I just did it like that. Drew it out and just played out. Oh, the Ice Age, a nice big ice cube. Mm hmm. Ice cube, melting, that, 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 that. So there you go. Oh yeah, for for this to melt in a very simple way, there was a animation masking effect for that. So. Okay, so this one. Oh, okay. So there was one episode. Yeah, I finished the the season as of this recording. I finished these seasons a while ago, so that's why I'm just like looking back and seeing like, oh, okay. So there a lot of things are coming back to me. So, the Sergio Show Lazy episode, I was like, okay, a quick lazy episode, what can I do in that episode? And I just improvised and just said these things and did these things, like, uh, if it's lazy, I'm not going to lip sync, how about I use powers of iced tea? And as you can see, I lazily scribble it out. <laughs> and in a little doodle of me. Mm -hmm. This one's... This one's nice. Yeah, and since this was, you know, Lazy Sergio, I want to simplify the animation, obviously, so it's just reduced to two drawings of me. Not talking or anything, just side view, front view of just me going, ah, a little deflated, a little tired, but I didn't want it to be too wrinkly deflated. It really is like a nice, relaxed, chill form of, you know who? Me! All right, this is a rough drawing of one episode of what I'm going to do with my dog, Frankie. You know, it's a cute, nice little pencil drawing. Like, oh! It's a nice little dog. And by the sounds of it, I think I just ripped one of my drawings. Yes, I did! You are witnessing this here, folks. I ripped a drawing. Oh, I see how long. All I did was try to flip this over and it ripped. Oh, you can use just... Can you see that? Oh my gosh, this art look through is just getting a little, little violent. <laughs> Great. All right. So, a Frank episode. And let me be frank with this Frankie dog episode. So, I also made, you know, a list. So, yeah, but use sketchbook paper to make a list. So, let's see. Yep. Yeah. I don't know what that square is. Can't remember. But look, eats gross. Selfie, you know, just random stuff you would do with a dog. He, you know, my dog would eat grass at the time. He kind of still does. Uh, pug in a box. That sounds cute. Toy dog. On oh, this shot, I knew that was going to be the big joke of, of the episode. 
Like, whoa! This, I want to do a hug, but when I tried to do it in, in puppet animation, it looked really awkward and didn't look natural. So what I did was, I just drew the torso here. And while drawing the torso, uh, I will just put in the puppet heads of me and uh, Frank. You know, so I see that worked. It worked better that way if you saw the episode. All right, Evil Bar. Uh, this is one of the Evil Sergio uh, anthology episodes. Um, but yeah, Evil Bar. <laughs> Yeah, there was going to be a setting where there would be an evil bar, and I drew this because yeah, it looks nice. Sometimes I draw these things on tablets, but sometimes I do also still draw it on, on Sketchbook and scan it into Toon Boom because I think it's better that way, especially when I want to get a nice rough feel because when I scan it, it has a much rougher look to it. Like it really was drawn on, on a marker. So in this case, in this setting and background and design, it works better that way. Sometimes I would have shots in my head before I animate and I would sketch it out. So I did sketch out like this shot of Evil Sergio just in a bar. Just like, ugh. Emotionally just upset. And his his enemy. For that episode. Just felt, just had this in my head and I just want to draw it out. Ah. So for this episode, I was developing, like, who's Evil Sergio's enemy that he's going to be defeated specifically for this episode. So I thought of a couple, and ultimately I thought about mm, this pillow monster. Because I thought it would be funny if it would look threatening, but also still big and powerful in some way. So yeah, this is the sketch drawing face, and yeah, made up of different pillows. It looks hilarious, but it, it by, uh, by, you know... Fully uh, rigging it and setting it up, it wanted to look more threatening, and the way he's executed works. So that works. That works. Oh, this is the sun. This is the evil Toon City sun. And it's evil in Toon City because, uh, yeah, everything's evil in, in evil Toon City, obviously. I, I've mentioned this in uh, the lore mythology evil Sergio episode, that evil Toon City, everything's evil. So I'm like, oh, let me add an evil sun to it. Well, it's like a vein and just sharp teeth. And so that, that's cool. That's nice. Uh, this is me outlining the fight scene because I had an idea of a fight scene. Originally, it was going to be a lot more elaborate. But the way um, I didn't have time to really make it more elaborate. So I just made a list of what I could do and how the episode would come out. And it came out fairly good, if you've seen it. I enjoyed it. So the fight scene, that fight scene was kind of nice. He, it was mostly just Evil Sergio mostly defeated. But it, it was going to be a nice stepping stone for um, more things for the, the character to do. If he's just easily defeated by a, a big pillow beast. So yeah, I'm sorry. I had to do a cut there because uh, there was a page of something that hasn't happened yet that maybe could happen in the future in the series. I don't want to spoil anything. But uh, yeah, this is this lump right here is a lump. As you can see, but no, I think that's supposed to be the shadow of uh, Hidden is that pillow monster because he comes in as a shadowy figure, but when he reveals himself, the shadow would like dissolve into the, the pillow monster. And speaking of the devil of a pillow, this is his body parts. I, um, yeah, I wanted to just draw, you know, the essential pillow pieces and then put them together later on. And yeah. So I did have to look after the previous drawing and these these to, you know, see how it looks. But yeah, these were scanned in and became the pillow of the monster. Now this. Sketch of a circle. This. Also sketch of a circle. There we go. Oh, that's the bartender of that uh, episode. It would be funny if this, it's supposed to be a mysterious random thing. Had some drinks, shot glass, bottles. It's funny looking. Ooh, this is for the other episode. This episode, this episode was kind of surprisingly elaborate, but I love how it came out too. 
And um, yeah, this is designed for Dinosaur Sergio of the future. Since Dinosaur Sergio is already a character from the past, but so many years from the past, from his perspective, any character that's like a couple years in, ahead of him is still the future, even though current Sergio is more future than any of the past Sergios after Dinosaur Sergio, even if that makes sense. But it was this funny, like, weird thing I thought of, and that's where the inspiration for the episode came about, where Dinosaur Sergio, from the future, future from, you know, Dinosaur Sergio, but not future from current Sergio from the Sergio show, comes to, to Dinosaur Sergio's help. He needs his help. And um, when I designed him, I I had to do some cutbacks because I know he had some elaborate drawings to him, especially the mouths. But I was like, okay, I need to I need to do something a little bit different. And eyes, uh, since it's time travel and it's funny to wear goggles, I was like, I have him wear like these goggles to cover his eyes, so I have to animate it in the uh, eyes because his mouth is going to be so elaborate. And I drew out. The setup of like, what would they look like in there together? So a rough concept of it. Yep, that's a parody of a certain poster of a time travel movie that I like a lot. So that too. Ah, drawing of Dinosaur Sergio. I think I, I just did sketches. I will get to it soon, but yeah, this is a sketch. I think this was, I either read, I think I'd read you. Yeah, I think this this was uh, drawn, and then later I would outline it in Toon Boom. So this was scanned as an image, and I outlined it digitally. But I like how it looked. The he has he has like evolved features, like like original Sergio, cartoon Sergio me, but there's still aspects of dinosaur in him. But I still want to look a little bit more evolved. That's why there's also a gradient of his skin, of blue and green, and maybe flesh colored. I don't remember, but mostly. Blue, gray, and green gradient to show that he's somewhat evolved, but not, you know, now. So that that was, that was funny. And I wanted to have a dinosaur mouth that's like that, so I did try to make a list and draw different mouth poses. I think I also well, we'll get to it, but I also had to do a front view of it. I don't know if I drew it out, but I I had to do that too. But first and foremost, this look. A head and different mouths and when you see it animated it's so funny because I didn't really focus in this case also I didn't um, what I didn't do oh yeah I didn't really concentrate on 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 lip sync proper lip sync since his jaw is so big it doesn't have to be properly lip sync so I just let Toon Boom do the work and just just pass through maybe I changed some frames while animating the mouths but I didn't focus too much on it because it was a lot of work to do and he didn't need to. It would be funnier if, if his mouth moved a little off sync. This is one of the evil dinosaur scientists. And, you yeah, know, setting that up. I think he was also, yeah, they usually outlined him. Also another one of the dinosaur character, evil dinosaur characters from later on. Uh, that one's good too. I like this one. A T-Rex that just looks so confused, but he's part of this evil scheme, you know. <laughs> this time machine. With his time machine, somehow time travel works even in that point in the future where it's still which is only a million years into the prehistoric times kind of thing. But I, I if you don't know, I when I made the his time machine, it's made out of rocks. That's a big rock in the back. Rock and rock. <laughs> made out of rocks and stone with the word time on it. That's not, it just it just came to me. It's one of those things that just came to me. I didn't want to elaborate more, but it's just like, all right, dinosaur time machine. Oh, big rock. Like three rocks, a couple rocks put together. Three big ass rocks. So that, that was the idea. That is the background of that like time machine, tra time travel portal. And that's how it looks. I think I just... So it was on this like crayon marker and just scan it in and that's how it looks like that. Yep. Oh, this one's a good one. Yeah, it's a good one. Yeah, it's just, just paper. Mm-hmm. 
Oh, okay. This drawing here is actually not an episode of the show. This is a, I did a time lapse video of how to make an how I um. This here is a drawing that I use for different videos. Not for the Sergio show, but it's it's for my for this channel, Sergio Studios Extra. Uh, an animation time lapse, but if I did the animation like this, where I drew it all here in one sheet, scan it in, line up in Toon Boom, and have it like that. So this is just like that. So this is not the show. This is something else for this channel. Uh, number 220. So I was going to meet my live action self again. So I did do some storyboards, and these X's mean I marked them off. Supposed to be, I think this is, yeah, cartoon me and live action me. Another one, storyboard pages. Yeah, these these are the markings. A certain kind of, I, I was going to do an episode with um, a certain kind of uh, thing I'm going to do here, but, you know, I don't want to talk too much about that one. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm actually going to skip that one real quick. Let's see, here we go. This episode. Yeah, I just took like a like a stencil and just outlined it, but then I drew it on pencil. Sometimes I do need storyboards. In this case, I do since there's staging, there's live action components, interacting with me, and and uh, yeah, it's important I do storyboards in this case. I don't usually do it, but that's one of those examples. Seeing my art look throughs, I. Occasionally do storyboards when I do it's moments like this. Very simple. Yeah, this in the montage there were these things I wrote down in storyboard, but when I got to filming them, I was like, no, I don't have to do this or this. You know, some of them I didn't do. The ones on the X over them means I didn't do them. Or maybe I did. Well, like I did that one. All right, now we are in season 23 for the most part. Uh, so season 23 was this planned thing where I was like, okay, I want it to be a theme of something. And it's going to be a themed season where I save holidays. Because at one point I realized, okay, I've done Christmas and Halloween, but I haven't done the other holidays. Well, the holidays I can make episodes off of. So I'm like, okay, how can I like utilize the rest of the holidays? So I was like, okay, how about I do a theme season where I save the fake origin story of all of um, at least uh, nine episodes. Well, seasons worth of episodes of, um, yeah, saving the holidays. So an episode would have a holiday to it. So I improvised the episode in May uh, 2020. And when I got back to it, I was like, okay, so this is a concept art season premiere where it's like, okay, everything's doomed. Why? And a certain character appears, and we got that part. Lord of Holidays. When I designed him, I wanted to be like this, like this ghostly angel-like figure with the sun, where he represents like a year-round thing. So you have the sun. He has these wings, and I want it to be calendars, and I want to have all twelve months like splayed across his body in some kind of orderly fashion. Lord of the Holidays. Originally he had a mouth, but I'm like, no, let me simplify it a lot more. Yeah, this is concept drawings. How it would look. Oh, yeah. Me. <clears throat> so, this one. Um, 
I think at some point I didn't start animation production yet, but when I was getting ready to do the season, I did think of, of characters like the Lord of the Holidays and the season premiere. But there's a point where I was also, also thinking of um, diff- these these like icon characters that represent the holidays and the origin story of the holidays. And I thought of Mother's Day and Father's Day. And this is, yeah, it's supposed to be the gods of Mother and Father's Day. And this is like the, the first thing that came to my head. And I was like, yeah, it looks nice. Maybe the father's a little bit off. I didn't put in that pipe later on, but... You know, I, I like the designs of both of them, but I did try to draw a couple more times, which you're about to see now. Yeah, this one's, these are too ridiculous. I mean, I like that drawing, but that's not going to be, like, the typical dad. Kind of. I don't like the drawings. Uh, drawing of Cupid. I think I was getting to that episode. Concept drawing of Cupid. Leprechaun 2. These are all just like concepts of these holiday icons. Another drawing of Holiday Lord. The official drawing of Holiday Lord. Yep. Oh, and this this magical like poofing appearing thing. Mhm. That little magical poof. Oh, another concept for the Easter episode that end up happening, where it's like a parody of a certain classic cartoon. But you can hear more in the season twenty three commentary of the Sergio Show. No, I thought of that pose. That'd be funny. Valentine's Day. Yep. Got into Valentine's Day at that point. These are random lands in certain parts. Just specifically Valentine's Day. These are the wings of this heart butterfly. But yeah, it came out nice. Another concept drawing of Cupid. Oh, I, I I love the pose. That's I, that's why I drew it a couple of times. I was like, oh, I like that pose, holding the carrot like that, and that weird drawing of the Easter Bunny for that one specifically. <laughs> ah, comedy, in the arts. Yeah, I really did like drawing that with the ears. Just I don't know how I got those. That, that was good. I also was thinking about that pose too of the bunny just on its two legs making that stance, you know? And also what are like the heads full of rabbit, which you'll see in that episode. Yeah, I think I drew it on paper and, and redrew it uh, digitally. Leprechaun, yeah. Like the king leprechaun and his minions. Minions, yep. One drawn once and copied a couple of times. Ooh, the April Fool. At first it was going to be a person, but I thought, no, let him be like a, an actual gesture hat. Because it'd be funnier that way. Let him look serious and then when he wakes up from comedy, he will uh, be a gesture hat. But I like how the business hat is covering his little bells. And things. Ah, uh, this is for a future episode. Yep. This is for uh, season 24. But I don't know if that came out yet. But I'm not spoiling anything. Honestly, it's just a fun bottle episode. So that's okay. At one point, I was like, okay, um... He's going to be introduced while falling, so I want to do different poses, and this is the list of poses. Normal sit, relaxed, upside down, warped in pieces, and <laughs> this funny legs open kind of thing. So, that was, that was the idea with that one. Oh, that reminds me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great. This, this, this came up. So, <clears throat> yeah. 
So there was a part where I made a big mistake and I drew the wrong, the wrong way of the sketchbook that I was drawing. As you can see, like it's double sided. So when I got to, when I got to, um, yeah, uh, April Fools, I drew these props that you will see in the episode, the wrong side of the page. So look at that double sided. Yep. My mistake. I got confused. So maybe, I think maybe a couple more drawings. Yeah, there's a couple more drawings. We'll get to that. So. Yeah, this is a montage. Originally, it was a storyboard, but I was like, no, let me make a list and I'll do it. For for the St. Patrick's Day one. So, next. Yeah, now I'm just like all over the place. Yeah, this is the April Fool's, him in his zen state. And him going, ah, ha, ha, happy and awake. Yep. Then all on these gushed on wrong sides. Ah. Great. Let's see if I don't get confused from this. Okay, there we go. So, yeah, this is a concept like, what if they all lived in a holiday planet? But, um, no, that was just a fun idea, but I don't know. No, it shouldn't be realized yet. Not really, so. Okay, this is Father's Day, Mother's Day. You know, it's supposed to be, you know, loving your parents and this household you live in. So, obviously, parents and chores and stuff like that. Laundry hamper, basket. Uh, the list of the montage of that one. Very nice. Yep, draw. I would draw them in outline digitally. Now, here's Halloween. We're getting to Halloween. Now, for this one, yeah, this one I did draw in marker because it, you know, like I said, it has that textured look when you scan it in. And it works for, you know, Halloween, of course. So, there's that. Very nice. The moon, this claw looking thing. I want to have spikes and bumps along with cracks and veins. It looks nice. Nice little claw thing. The monsters too. Some cases I would just draw one arm, then later I would digitally cut it and copy it here. Same thing with this one. Boom. Some parts I did have to do separately, like the hat and the leg. But that that's fine. <laughs> I like that. I like the design of the castle on top of that big stone. That's that's cute. Halloween land world. Halloween world land. Whatever. Um, their perspective, my perspective, or yeah, yeah, their perspective, my perspective of of this, of the inside of the castle. Yep. Now this it has it has nothing to do with an episode. I, I again another mistake. Um, this I had another. I have two sketchbooks. Sometimes, one that's production of the show, the artwork, and another sketchbook for doodling things that I want to just draw that has nothing to do with anything. This is the case. I was thinking of like funny cartoon eye gags, and I was just drawing my character like with the eyes like this or this or this or this, and I wrote it. Well, I drew it. On this, on the wrong sketch pad. So it's be on the on another one, but it yep, made it to here. So yeah, nothing to do with an episode, but there you go. Yeah, this thing is full of mistakes. This whole video has so many mistakes. Ah, turkey. He's not a real character, but I wanted to draw a cartoon turkey. Turns out he's just gonna be a balloon. This one. I like the drawing of the log, turkey balloon. I felt like the, the the setting was so so a little like empty, so I wanted to do something. So I'm like, okay, log. Uh, me fighting an elf. That's also a little montage of it, but I did draw it visually. But it's a couple of quick things. It wasn't gonna be a big battle. Like, boom! I spin it. Here we are, baby New Year. And uh, example of this and this. I don't know if this is the actual. No, I don't think so. We'll we'll get to it. But this is my drawings of examples, concepts of New Year, the ball, the the stick of the ball drop. So that's that's the thing with that one. <clears throat> there it is. 
This is supposed to say day 365. Yep. 365, go down. Uh, like I said, my, the la this is the last one where I'm falling to introduce the season finale, me saving the last holiday, and yeah. There we go. It looks incomplete. Did I just... Uh... Yeah, I think, yeah, I just, I simplified it. I think I just outlined this and I scanned this. Yeah, I did scan this and this one was just like digitally outlined. I was like, well, I'll stop here and just outline it digitally. So yeah, I think that was my idea. And somehow I didn't erase it, but scan went through and vectorize. Uh, that's okay. Oh yeah, I want to draw myself, you know, uh, there's a point where I fall dozens of feet to the ground and uh, need to do a shot like that. Mm -hmm. Whoa! Now, that's actually it. And when I was done with the season, I still had about six pages left. So I just went and just drew some concept posters of season 23. So let's take a nice look through them. The Sergio Show. Sergio saves the holidays. Try to put all these characters together. The rough concepts of the poster. Oh, a poster or an image that could be done. The Sergio Show. Sergio saves the holidays. The Sergio Show. Season 23. Ah. You no, know, it's me falling at a degree while these the holiday characters are there. The Sergio Show. Season number 23. This one's nice. The Sergio Show, season 23, Sergio Saves the Holidays. And that's the last page. Have an animated day. Which, of course, I hope all of you have and will. And that's it. That's a nice little art look through of season 22 and 23 and a little bit of 24. And there you go. That's... That's all for this nice little art look through of season 22, 23, and a little bit of 24 of The Sergio Show. Thank you very much for watching. Any comments, questions down below, if you can, if you want to, like and subscribe. And follow me on the social medias and stuff. So again, thank you very much for watching. I'm Sergio Dominguez saying, have an animated day.